<laughs> Welcome back to the road show. This morning of the buzz brought to you by the Comedy Connection. Hosting guests at your home overnight can be a bit overwhelming, but a, uh, a generous deed indeed. Our recent <laughs> guidelines on Huffington Post say just because it's your house though, mm -hmm. doesn't mean you get to treat guests however you want. That's right. Now the guidelines may vary based on your relationship with the guests, but the first is to provide clean sheets and towels. One would hope. I hope you're doing that. Sure. You know, that should be the number one thing you do because sleeping is a priority, followed by the bathroom, and guests should not have to bring their own toilet paper or bath products as well. Where were you staying? I know, people? right? Uh, it also says you shouldn't <laughs> hover. Let the guests have their alone time. Yes. There's no need to constantly pick up after them. That's true. And don't ignore their allergies, whether it's for food or fragrances, or make sure that you tell them about any important information to in your house, such as if you have a cat, mm -hmm. you need to remember that maybe they need to close the doors of your cat or sure. dog, and if you have right. dogs, they don't get out. Right. So information just like that. Now, we've had guests that have stayed with us, you know, for a multitude of reasons. Yeah. We had we had uh, friends who were more like family to us who mm -hmm. were moving, you know, they had lived here, they, went to, they lived in Arizona for a while, and they moved back and stayed with us for a while. They were like... You said it was great. Fantastic. Yeah. Like, I missed them like when they were gone. You'd have them again and again and again. I missed them when they were gone. <laughs> uh, she, she was an, an incredible cook. The, you'd come home and the refrigerator was so packed, it was like trying to... Oh my Whatever food you wanted, yeah, everything was clean. We had fun. See? You know, at nighttime, everybody would sit around and talk, and you know, every it was it was like perfect. When they left, I was like, oh, where oh, are they going? Sad. You don't have to go. That's sad. You don't have See to go. Week. Yes, they were wonderful. Now, in our house, it's tough. You know, listen, we have seven people in our family. Right. So anybody that is going to come and stay in our house, I mean, right. they know we are like a traveling circus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number one, they have so, to be prepared. Yeah, they can be prepared. Like my in-laws will come and stay with us. And, but you know, they actually are good about it. They won't stay for a long time. It's like three or four nights at a time. Right. Because honestly, I feel like that's all someone could handle in our house. Sure. We're loud. We're crazy. Mm -hmm. It's not always organized. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm barely making dinner for the seven of us. Well, look, there's a Never lion. mind adding more people in. But I do love, I love having people over. It's just right. a matter of kind of knowing, like, you know, what the expectation is. Yeah. I, I also think if you are a guest, you have to know when enough's enough like yes. when you need to check out you absolutely know, check out. we had uh, myself and brendan have know somebody who lived at a very famous person's house okay like extremely famous person and he, he lived there for a long 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 should time. he have gotten out he probably should have left were there subtle signs there were a lot of signs <laughs> for him for the other person that he should he lived in the guest house and he should have left and he should have left and he should have left yes and you got to know when to, to, when to stay and when to go. Yeah, yeah. And, and while you're there, you need to, like, even respect, like, the homeowners. Oh, absolutely. You know, no matter whether it's family or right. a friend or something like that, you can't be getting up early in the morning and turning the TV on and blaring if that person no. is asleep. And my big thing with the kids was I always like, okay, listen, we have a gate on top of the steps on the bottom of the steps. Right. So anybody that came over, sure. they had, I'm like, please shut these gates. Like, right. the kids could fall down the stairs. Oh, right. I thought you were gating them in now. No, no, not now. <laughs> you know I would if I you could. You would if you could. You yeah, know, you see me good. track them. Right, right, right. I'm a nervous now. Brandon, we know that. We know a f we, we know somebody. Well, right I now. have a guest, so I'm just I'm, I'm putting I'm, I'm folding up the good towels for Aaron, <laughs> our intern. He's going to be spending the night. Now okay. your Brandon. guest house is right that way around the corner. Brandon. Watch your step. Leave a good Yelp review, okay? <laughs> there you go. I think Aaron would be there a great guest. Here for Aaron, our intern. Good job, buddy. He can stay at our house anytime. Could be neat. Good job, Aaron. Generous with the comment card. <laughs> but I've told you He's before, great. I've said this, my great aunt and uncle, Uncle Joe and Susie, they lived in Chicago and Davenport, Iowa. Uncle Joe was originally from Rhode Island, but they would always come back for visits. Right. My brother and I loved it when they would come to visit, but they were my dad's aunt and uncle. Mm. He wasn't so thrilled or enamored with their visits because they would stay for lengthy periods oh, of time. Yeah. But, but they spoiled my brother and me, so we were on cloud we nine and they were coming to visit and he, he would always announce to us, well, Uncle Joe and Susie are coming for two weeks. I was just gonna say, what's a lengthy visit? Wow, two, two weeks, weeks was, is a long time, that right? That was a lot, Big yeah. Much. But yeah, just be courteous of your right. host or the other way around. Sure. It's not that difficult. No. Aaron was courteous. He I'm was courteous. very good. He's a great guest. <laughs> you guys are courteous. Our viewers are courteous. Let's check in. So much politeness. Can you stand it? Uh, here's what you had to say about this topic. Eileen says, being woken up at 6 a.m. on my day off to the screaming sound of my coffee grinder. I guess I'm up now. Laugh out loud. 
<laughs> I guess you are. Nancy is up next. My husband and I once had a party, and I, <laughs> this guy I went to bed while some of the guests were still there. I know it was rude, but it was quite late. Well, if you're tired and the party's over, it's time for bed. Avril cites something that you shouldn't do, bringing up the no-no conversations. Oh, that's absolutely a faux pas. And Linda just breaks it down simply for us. I would just say have consideration for others and be courteous, but have fun too. That's what it's all about, just some common decency. Be polite and respectful. Thanks everyone for chiming in, and please keep those comments coming. Follow us at The Roadshow on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and you never know, we might read yours right here on the air.